making a few extra cat sets. This is a very minimal set. A duck wing on a swivel over a trap. Very minimal. It ain't even hardly breezy. And look at that wind move, or wing move. What a mess. Hopefully I'll have something hung up next time. My boat from off of the road, put it up behind the house, I had to put chains on. And then the, the damn tongue jack failed. So I had to use my snow machine jack. Rare, it's damn tasty. Wolves killed a calf moose, pissed all over the head. And me with no wolf snares, but this is kind of close to the main logging road. I'd be reluctant to set it up. Here's a typical Martin set. It's a grouse wing and shoulder with some stank on it and a Martin pole leaning with the end cut so that that number one can wedge on there. He uses the trap to step out that away and gets caught. Looks like a Martin scored himself a grouse. Looked like he come in that way, pounced on the grouse here and there was a bit of a fight. I can see wing marks there, and then he walked off with that grouse in his mouth. So I've never done that before. I always used a coffee can or a wooden cubby, wire the can. To, I've, I've got, I'll show you pictures. I didn't have a bracket to go under the can to nail to the tree. I didn't have nails, so I'd wire. I got that trap to sit there. Hopefully, this will uh, get me this Martin. with some pieces of shank that I cut for Asabuco. I'm gonna instant pot them and uh, turn them into soup. Use some garlic and onions and some kielbasa and vegetables. It's gonna be fantastic. So here's how I start a cold snow machine. It's not super cold today. It's probably like 15 degrees here. Leave the switch off, cycle the recoil a little bit. Make sure you got as much rope wrapped up in it as you can. Uh, and turn it over a few times and don't just rip on the rope get it engaged now we'll turn it on give it four primes is what I've settled on cat tracks in my trail of course it's where I don't have a set yet I'm gonna make one my trapping buddy's doing really good so this has happened several times today where a lynx came and checked out a martin set thankfully I didn't have a martin for him to eat just down the hill I put a trap under 
under a martin pole i've often done that and caught cats and uh i haven't done it too much up high here because typically this doesn't happen but it's happening now so i'm gonna set a trap here under this this martin set i saw a number number one jump wired to a pole with a grouse wing on a swivel i'll put a number three long spring down underneath it and here we are what I've done with this one is this time I put it on a mound and uh, hopefully the, the brush will keep it shaded. I've seen even in the dead of winter, I've seen the sun melt the trap into the snow. Usually I'll put the trap in a depression, but that's often at the entry of a cubby. And I've cut plenty of cats like that. This one being under a martin pole, I decided I'd put it on a mound. It's like if he wants to investigate this wing, that's so four and a half or so five feet off the ground, he'll step on that mound and get whacked. That's the, that's the idea anyway. We'll see what happens. Do some work on the machine today. The steering felt way wrong, way loose some stuff under there the air box goes here over the battery which makes a lot of sense you see that some stuff loose in the linkage there I'm trying to tighten that little old tundra is looking better and better so this is quite the hassle see the air box goes over here to the carburetors there's three of them and to get to this damn linkage I've got to reach under the oil can crap and then from the from the damn it right. it's a 17 on that end and a 14 on this side come on now I don't think there's enough room to get a ratchet in there might have to get one of them ratcheting box wrenches. Son of a it on there? Nope. See, I love this machine when it starts and ain't stuck and I don't have to work on it. Took up a bunch of slack. Now it's in the upper one. This side's a 17. Oh, I tightened that up a lot. Handlebars goes to uh, my flashlight that that junction behind that fuel hose there it's that bar right there see it moving that bar goes forward to that which goes to that thing there. No, no, oh, there, there it is. Right there goes to underneath there. It's all kinds of little tie rod ends and nuts and bolts and crap to get loose. There's two of these things. Two of those, one right there, one right there. That one looks fairly tight. What a hassle. And then to get to the back of the steering post, you gotta pull the radiator off. It's just a, a rubber. Shit, I lost it. Yep, gotta find that. And then a pin right here. So a rubber hook here to here. That thing will get out and post that away. There's plastics in the way. Son of a building block. But that's how you get to the spark plugs. Oh, and they're not on top either. I've had to do this before. This cap here, it's a long cap, goes way in there. You need a hinged seven piece. It's not seven pieces, but it feels like it. Spark plug wrench to reach down into that engine block to pull them suckers out. 
Ah, so I need to try to tighten these right here on the steering post to try to take out some of this loose play. I believe I got these ones tight. I'm just trying to track all the play down and get rid of it. Turns out you don't have to get to the back of those. Turns out they, like me, you ready for this lame-ass dad joke? Those, like me, are studs. <laughs> they don't have a, they don't have a head on the back. They're just studs pressed in there, into the collar or whatever it is, the back of the the collar holding the steering column there. So I just put a wrench to them from this side. Got them tight, took out even more play. Well, I think we got most of it out. Most of it that was due to loose nuts and bolts. Tightened those studs there, both of them. They're not moving no more. And it's just one arm that comes to here. That pipe there. comes to here you can see there's a little bit of movement on that tie rod end it's not because of the loose nut I tried to tighten it it's the actual ball of that tie rod that that thing there and it's the same underneath there. Uh, well, loose is better than broken. I got it tightened back up. I thought it was breaking, but now I've done tighten it back up. Are you a contortionist? Work on the VK Pro and you will be.